for my dissertation, it was a mixed method study in which I looked at the impact of a particularly large immigration raid that happened here in Washtenaw County in 2013. And there happened to be a survey going on at the same time, the Encuesta Buenos Vecinos. We looked at health in two particular ways. So one was the idea of self-rated health. So we had the opportunity to see how folks rated their changes in health before and after an immigration raid. And as you can imagine, you know, we hypothesized that these immigration raids have multiple impacts on health both in, on the individual level, but also on the community level. So some of the individual level impacts that come to mind may be you know, immediate reactions in terms of mental health. So for those in the raided building, reactions such as PTSD or depression, folks are losing members of their families who are getting arrested and deported. So you see an increase in folks who have relied on uh, an individual in their community, usually a father or a husband, to provide for their family when that person's removed they find themselves in the situation of, of acute poverty. And then on the community level, you also see folks who are scared to access resources, um, scared to go to government offices, who lose trust of the police because of the immigration enforcement that's been happening in their communities. So this finding primarily focused on health. Um, you know, I graduated with my degree in public health, but there as a number of ways this work can be expanded both by folks in other disciplines and by folks who are not academics, who are already doing their work in communities. Honestly, when we did this work, we did not predict that it was going to come out during uh, the current presidential political moment. Thus, there's a need for more work focusing on the impacts of immigration enforcement on mixed status communities, on Latino communities, uh, on communities of color, and a need to connect immigration enforcement and the militarized violence that it entails with police violence that often occurs in black communities. So we have to ask ourselves, are there any type of, of legal protections or policies that we'd like to see in place to protect folks who, are, who may be impacted by immigration enforcement? Some policies I could definitely see and some we see in place are limits between the interaction between the police and immigration enforcement. And you'll hear this argument from police also, from police chiefs. They don't want to be enforcing immigration law because when communities do not trust them, they do not call them, they do not inform them of, of anything they know that may prevent other more dangerous crime. But yet there's this continual push uh, for, for police to be involved in immigration enforcement. We need immigration reform that is compassionate to large groups of individuals and I would suggest it does not require them to be some sort of hardworking, willing to be in the military, graduate individual, but just someone who lives in our community who's valuable for the sake of, of being human, that therefore does not deserve to be racially profiled, whose house does not deserve to be raided, and whose family does not deserve to be separated uh, from minor infractions of the law.